welcome to the project demonstration of battery management system for electrical vehicles using pi zero so in this project uh, we added the feature like uh, the whole system driven by the raspberry pi zero so it will taking care of the voltage measurements and uh, current measurements and temperature from these sensors and also whenever the high voltage is detected we are going to isolate the power supply to the uh, batteries by off uh, this relays and whenever the low voltage is detected so coming to the low voltage rating sir 10 volts if it is be sorry 11 volts if it is below 11 volts then uh, raspberry pi will inform the microcontroller because uh, the voltage is uh, coming from this voltage sensors potential divider circuits is analog voltage so raspberry pi doesn't have the inbuilt analog to digital converter for that purpose we are making use of uh, extra controller so which is a uh, interference like uh, intermediate between the inputs and outputs so the input is sensors and output is lcd so between that so raspberry pi 0 and controller taking care of the reading inputs for example we are providing the battery 1 voltage to 3 voltages through these voltage sensors to the microcontroller so microcontroller will read the analog voltages and it will convert that to serial outputs so that serial data given as input to the raspberry pi 0 and it will process that based on the input readings from this v1 v2 v3 so it will inform to the controller to on which relay should on and which relay should off so everything is normal voltages then all relays in off state only so for demonstration purpose we keep this battery as a low voltage for demonstration then it will switch on the particular relay to allow the power supply to the particular battery so that charging voltage is coming from this transformer so here we are using this transformer for step down purpose so we are providing 230 volts ac and this transformer will step down the 230 volts ac to 12 volts ac so to this regulator power supply board it has a three stages one is rectification so using this uh, four diodes we are going to convert the ac to dc and using this capacitor we are going to making as a smooth dc and then after regulation so after this we will get the 5 volts of dc so before that the 12 volts dc power supply from this 2 pin cable given to the each and every battery through the each and every relay respected connected to that each relay consists of one led for uh, showing the status of the relay transistor to control the relay so here uh, raspberry pi will inform to on this relay for example then it will trigger this transistor then the transistor will trigger the relay relay will trigger the 12 volts power supply to the battery so in this way we are going to controlling the voltage to the batteries and coming to the overload whenever the overload is detected on the battery packs so then uh, this temperature sensor will detect the heating so after that the controller will inform to the same pi zero, w, uh, pi 0 here and the so called status continuously displayed on the LCD screen and whenever the temperature is crosses 50 degrees centigrade we are going to switch on the buzzer so on this buzzer board we can see one transistor same here also controller will on the transistor transistor will allow the power supply to the buzzer so we are using piezo buzzer here and coming to the battery ratings so we are using 12 volt 1 amp each battery pack is consists of again 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series so these three are connected in parallel and in that these three are connected in series so we will get a 12 volt 1 amp directly so let us see the demonstration so first of all this is the adapter power supply for the raspberry pi 0 and the next is the power supply for the our main charging section station right right So as we discussed already, we kept the battery pack one as low voltage. So that's why the particular relay got switched on. So which is connected to the battery pack one voltage. So it is switch on the charger to allow the power to the battery pack one. And after that, it will switch off that. Then only we can measure the voltage because when the relay is on, so while measuring the voltage, the system will get the maximum voltage of charging input voltage only. So right, coming to the temperature sensor. So whenever the overload is detected. Right, so we will get the buzzer alert as well as visual indication on the red LED will be on. So once the temperature is coming to normal condition, again the LED and the buzzer will be off. 
so the particular relay is keep on on to charge a battery till it reaches the sufficient voltage so you can see that the voltage is increasing right